The object engraving tool allows you to insert engraved lines, rectangles, and ellipses on your panel. For this demonstration, I will insert a simple line near the bottom of our sample panel, and then I will create a box to outline a group of holes in the center of the sample panel. I will begin by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the Insert Engraving Object tool at the top of the screen, then selecting the line option. Next, I will press M to position the line where I want it. Once I hit OK, the Engraving Object Properties window will appear. I will start by entering the length of the line that I want into the length field, which is 75 millimeters. I am then given the option to change the rotation of the line in case I want a slanted line. I would like my line to remain straight with no angle, so I leave the angle at zero. Now, I have a choice. I can either enter in the width of the line that I want and allow Front Panel Designer to automatically choose which tool is best for that width, or I can choose a tool and Front Panel Designer will determine how wide my line will be based on the tool used. I know that I want a line that is one millimeter in width, so I check the automatic selection box down at the bottom. This opens the line width field. There I enter one and automatically Front Panel Designer selects the 1 millimeter tool. Finally, I can select a color for my line by choosing a color from the drop-down menu next to Infill Color. I will make this line Genton Blue, the same color as the top portion of my logo. I've now designed the straight line, so I hit OK, and it is then positioned on my sample panel. Next, I will create a box around a group of rectangular cutouts near the center of my sample panel. With the object engraving tool still selected, I press the M key and enter the coordinates of the box that I would like. Hitting OK will again bring up the engraving object properties window. I will change the object type to rectangle by selecting it from the drop down menu. For this demonstration, I am only creating a rectangle to outline several objects on my panel. However, I have the option to create a solid shape. To do this, I would check the Fill Area box underneath the Type field. I will leave it unchecked, though, to create an outline. Next, I enter the width and the height in the appropriate fields. I choose a corner radius of 3 millimeters. I would like my rectangle to remain with no angle, so I leave the angle set to 0 degrees. For this engraving object, I will select the width by using the tool diameter rather than the automatic selection option. So, I go to the bottom of the window and select from the cutter tools. The larger the tool I select, the wider my rectangular outline will be. I would like my outline to be 1 millimeter in width, so I select the 1 millimeter tool. Finally, I select the infill color to finish off the rectangle. I will again choose Genton Blue, the same color as the top of the logo. I am done with this rectangle, so I hit OK, and it is positioned on my panel. I have now created an engraved line and a rectangle surrounding multiple objects on my panel.